if you miss this kick. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He barely made it. He barely made it. He sucked. He sucked. Oh my god. Watch out. Watch out. Jake Moody just kicked the field goal. Watch out. Jake Moody just kicked an extra point. What? Everybody take cover. Watch out. Barely made it. Oh, this guy is pissing me off, man. Third round pick. 148 for 148 on extra points in college. And he misses an extra point. <laughs> and I got to listen to Greg Papa and Tim Ryan talk about the wind. Blame me in on the wind when this guy should be in Canada. But Trey Lance, hats off. That's the Trey Lance I know. That's the Trey Lance that I'm talking about. Ronnie Bell, I cannot tell if you're good or if you're bad. I don't know because you make great plays and then you just forget how to catch the ball. You're a wide receiver and you just somehow forget to catch the ball. Both games, you've deflected the ball to the opposing DB, but you made big plays today. So shout out to Ronnie Bell. The only good draft pick that we had out of Michigan. But back to Trey Lance, as I was watching that game, as I was watching it unfold, after he threw that first interception, I just thought to myself, he might be the unluckiest human to ever live. Third overall pick in the 21 draft, who's his mentor? Jimmy G. Sits behind him for a year, doesn't learn anything. And then he gets named a starter, first game, monsoon, typhoon. Tornado, tsunami. Second game against the Seahawks, Kyle Shanahan just thinks he's a running back. Just, just decides to run him right up the gut, tears his Achilles, ACL, whatever he tore, out for the year. And then on the sideline, he watches the 262nd overall pick take his job. And now he has to play with third stringers behind Leroy Watson, the fifth. Possibly the worst football player I've seen in my life. I don't know how he ended up choosing football. He needs to choose a different occupation. Leroy Watson the fifth should not play another snap of football after what I saw tonight. But it was great to see Trey win that game. All right, let's get into some positivity. There's been a lot of negativity in this video, these past couple videos. Big cock Brock is back. It looks like his elbow is back. He looked fantastic. Now, when I heard the starters were playing, I got really excited to see Brock Purdy, you know what I mean? To see an actual, somewhat of an offensive line in front of him. And then I saw Jalen Moore start a left tackle. So then I got on my knees and I just said a prayer because I actually thought Brock Purdy was gonna lose his elbow again. I'm not gonna lie. Debo. Whoa, whoa. Debo. Whoa, he's back, baby. 21 Debo's book. Now, I don't know where Mike McGlinchney was because it was supposed to be the Mike McGlinchney revenge game. I, where was Mike McGlinchney today? Did he get replaced by Cam Fleming? Or is he in? Like, what happened to him? I was so excited to see Mike McGlinchney playing for the other team tonight. I was so happy. I was ecstatic. I was at the edge of my seat. Looking forward to it. But he wasn't out there, man. He let me down once again. Shout out to Ambry Thomas. I think he's won that cornerback two job. I think Demo Lenoir is going to move into slot corner. He's been playing very well this preseason. Uh, Flanagan Flowles, cock. Isaiah Oliver, ass. Jason Poe, lost. Special teams is actually special. Mitch Wisnowski, our punter. Fifth year in the league. Muffing punts in preseason. First punt. 35 yards. Second punt, 31 yards. That is an average of 33 yards per punt. This guy's in his fifth year. And he's muffing punts in preseason. Special teams. We already know about Jake Moody. I don't need to get into Jake Moody no more. But th where is the kick return defense? Where are the heavy hitters? I, I, where are the head first guys who just fly into people? Looking to kill somebody. Where are those guys? And this wouldn't be a 49ers game without some injuries. Danny Gray just dies after the first play. Out. Javon Kinlaw doesn't even show up. Illness. Under the weather. No one knows what happened to him. He's just not there. Not present. Kerry Hyder. Out. 
Jeremy McNichols out just injured. It's preseason. I'm telling y'all, man, at the rate that we're getting injured at, some of these players that you're seeing in these preseason games in these third and fourth quarter, yeah, they're going to be on the field in week eight. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Back on my knees. Cameron Latu caught a ball. <laughs> he caught a ball. Not only that, he caught a touchdown. He did something. Cameron Lotto, he learned how to catch. Oh, I thought we drafted a bust. Oh, he's still ass. Well, good job, Lotto. You did something today, man. Jesus. I think we just shouldn't draft in the third round. We should start our drafts in the fifth round and beyond. Good win for the 49ers. Uh, John Feliciano, retire. You're done, all right? I don't want to see you playing for this team anymore. Don't put on the uniform. Just leave, all right? Just retire. Just, just go, all right? I just thought I'd mention that before the end. Russell Wilson. Suck my wee-wee, and uh, I'll see y'all next week. Bang, bang!